Hi everyone. I just reread this from March 1990 and it made me giggle. Charity and Love was the title of this column. Our church choir practices most Wednesdays during the school year, so it was easy for the choir to stick around and join the rest of the congregation for our Ash Wednesday service. Halfway through the service, I got an attack of the giggles. Too often in the past, I've had to glare down at our children to stifle their giggles, yet here I was sitting in the center of our choir committing the same offense and I had no one else to blame. Nobody had whispered a silly remark or tripped down the aisle or hiccuped through the homily, which were the usual motives for our children to start their tittering. All I was, all I was doing was trying to concentrate on the service, but when we began to sing Where Charity and Love Prevail, I lost my holy stature. The instant the first words of the hymn left my lips, I recalled an incident back home that occurred moments before I left church. Russell and Rachel were performing for me, doing somersaults and headstands in the center of the living room. I have to admit, I wasn't paying too much attention to their demonstration, just giving them a, oh, that's nice, or a very good, every few minutes while I glanced through a magazine. All of a sudden, I looked up from the article and witnessed a flash of mayhem. Rachel stepped on Russell's middle as she walked across the room, continuing on her way without a backward glance. He now rolled up in a ball next to the couch and began crying in pain. Where charity and love prevail. Becky, who was stretched out on the couch, gazed down at her little brother and saw a giant get even opening. She said, Oh, poor Russell's crying. His charity we learn. The taunting lit uh, in Becky's voice aggravated Russell. He lashed out at her with the first available weapon, Rachel's discarded shoe. Lucky for Becky, it was her little sister's soft-soled shoe and not her leather ones because Russell gave her three quick swats in the mouth in rapid succession. Bam, bam, bam. Forgive each other, each other's faults as we are faults confess and let us love each other well in Christian holiness. Becky reached down, now with tears in her own eyes, and grabbed her brother's face with a grip that reminded me of the Vulcan mind meld from Star Trek. And for a moment, it looked like she would wipe his grin and everything else off his face. Russell's feet came up off the floor and planted themselves against his sister's head and were about to give her a severe case of whiplash when I stepped in and broke everything up. Life strife among us be unknown. Let all contention cease. Be his glory that we seek. Be our his holy peace. I didn't raise my voice. I didn't spank or punish. The children had already, already taken care of each other fairly well. When I began to laugh at their outrageous behavior, they looked at me and then at each other and soon resolved their differences. This account of the attack was given to you in slow motion. The actual time lapse was about five seconds and I still don't know if I'll ever be able to sing that hymn again without remembering the charity and love that was exhibited or not exhibited that evening in our living room from 1990. I'm glad I wrote that one down. That's, yeah, that was life on Sunny Book Farm. So until next time, I'll say goodbye from Sunny Book Farm. Oops, I gotta click the right button here.